Hey, uh, it's Simon here. I'm really confused. I need to solve a math problem, but I'm completely stumped by all the symbols. Have you even seen parentheses, brackets, braces, and those absolute value symbols to group sets of numbers? What do they all mean? If they are all in the same problem, which do I group first? <laughs> Actually, I don't really blame you. That can be a little confusing. Um, let's take a look at the different kinds of grouping symbols and see if we can sort of straighten that out for you, buddy. Grouping symbols. So really, there's three different common kinds, um, and one that's sort of a grouping symbol and is used that way, but uh, is, is thought of as something else. So the three general grouping symbols are parentheses and brackets and braces which I always thought were like little flying birds so little birdie brackets but you know braces is the technical term <laughs> if I were to draw you a diagram of the order in which you you complete the numbers inside these things it would look like this you would first do in fact I do it in the exact opposite order I wrote it which is kind of silly but really these are first to be completed these are second to be completed and these are third to be completed and in all fairness, I actually wrote them in the order that you're uh, most commonly likely to see them. You'll see these a lot. You won't as commonly see these, and you will see these most com or least commonly. But if I were to sort of come up with an exp or a statement that involved all three, maybe I'd have something like um, 2 times 3 plus 5 minus 1 plus 2. So let's take a look at this. This looks like a mess. But as long as you break it down into individual pieces, it's not that hard. So we complete everything inside the braces first, which means we do 1 plus 2 first. That would give us 3. So we're going to replace that 1 plus 2 with a 3. Now we're done with these braces. We've done everything inside of them, so we don't need them anymore. So now we have 2 times 3 plus 5 minus 3. So now we do the next set inside. 5 minus 3 is 2, so we'll replace that 5 minus 3 with a 2. So now we have, we're getting rid of these bra uh, brackets, we're done with these. So now we have 2 times 3 plus 2, and we can do the 3 plus 2. It's the only thing left inside parentheses. 3 plus 2 is 5, so we have 2 times 5, and our answer is 10. So really, all you need to know about these grouping symbols is that you do them in this order. You do the braces first, then the brackets, then the parentheses. But you're going to be less and less likely to see them as you get deeper inside. These you don't see very often at all. Um, the other common sort of grouping symbol I mentioned is the absolute value symbols. Absolute value symbols act as if they were grouping symbols, even though they mean something else uh, in addition. They mean that whatever is inside is going to be made positive. They work as if they were parentheses. So sometimes you will have other things inside of an absolute value symbol, but uh, if the absolute value symbol is there and you have something inside of it, like say negative 4 and a number outside, then you would take the absolute value of this number before you actually multiplied it by whatever was outside. So these act as if they were the first set, like parentheses. So hopefully that straightened things out for you a little bit. Just keep the order in, in mind. These are going to be the innermost. Do them first. These will be outside of those. Do them second. And these will be all the way on the outside. Do them uh, third.